Wow. You're not going to believe this. Because I can't. It's Monday, the 11th of July, 2022. Give me a minute. I've hid behind this metal girder as cover while I get myself prepared. And my windshield's fallen off. There it is, hang on. Oh, give a minute. It's all messing up again, as it usually does. There might be some noise. Right, so I've put my windshield back on. Check that out there. I've been scoping this place for a while. We're at the side of the burnt down Odeon Cinema. And I've been looking for a way in that I won't be seen. Look at this here. So we're going to strike while the iron's hot. As I usually say, I don't think there's any cameras anywhere. So we'll keep low and hide behind these barrels. I don't see any. Are you ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Wow, check this. First of all, any trip hazards, any booby traps. I don't see any. We're going to stay on this ledge for a moment. And I'm going to get the torch out of my pocket. Oh, I can't believe it. This is exciting. Is that safe to stand on? What do you think? Right, hang on, there's a ledge there. Safety first. Yes, it's a solid floor. We're inside the Odeon again. And there's Goldie Horn, deceived. I remember that from when I was last in. Toilet. I mean, there's not really going to be much of an Odeon to explore, is there? The point of this is, we're going to see if we can find the abandoned spaceship. The one that's thousands of years old. Let's see what the toilet's like. It's alright, it's just dirty, it isn't unhygienic dirty, it's just soiled from dust, probably from a fire. You see, I was thinking of going in a different way, but I don't need to. I was going to climb over the wall. And there's a control panel. Sex pistols, I think I remember that from last time. Actually, thinking about the way in, it's as if someone's used some kind of mitre saw on it. It's like they've cut the metal in the wood. Shall we see what's in here? This is the entrance to Evoke, I believe. Finally. Or is it? I'm not sure. Before we do this bit, let's go in this room. Let's see if we have actually shut down the Moronavirus properly. Because there's been some variants knocking about. Yeah, I think this place is... It's unserviceable. Look at the old valve. At least that's what I think it is. Yeah, this place has been trashed. I think that's the end of the Moronavirus. Well, in this particular area anyway. Is that where ceiling cap jumps down? See, that switch is already off. I don't think there'll be anything up there, to be honest. I don't think it's worth it. I hope my voice sounds all right, because I've had to say that last bit three times, because I was uncomfortable with my voice. Sometimes it sounds a bit strange. I don't know if we should go up there as an experiment. What's this? FA Relay Tokyo Joes. What could this be? Press up to stop shows. So we press up and see what happens. Uh, it's one of those switches that uh, comes back down when you press it up. Oh, crap, my torch. We'll turn that one off, though. That could be a sub-variant of the Moronavirus. Oh, yeah, do you remember that? You're next. Help, RIP. So this is still the Odeon. And there's a doorway there. I've stood on some bubble wrap. There's the room that we've already been in. Hey, the upstairs. We'll check out upstairs after. You see, if we could get into the spaceship, that would be so good. I'm not going to stick around too long, because we've already done this. There's Harrison Ford again. Hey, there's loads of Harrison Fords. There's like three of them. I wonder if I should salvage one, because the one I salvaged last time 
I ended up getting rid of it because it was really crummy. It was kind of a rat infested. Yeah, they are as well. It's not worth it. Shall we go in here? Sorry about the low level torch. The floor is wet. Some kind of kitchen. Hey, check that out. Top swatch, 1918, some 1345. And a picture of some kind of Chad looking character. The floor is soaking wet. This is dangerous. There's nothing behind there, only a wall. We're wasting time. We need to find the thousand year old spaceship under Revoke. You're not going to believe this. I hope there's no dust on the lens. Look at all this. Loads of editions of flicks with Harrison Ford. Multiple Harrison Fords. They could be worth something. Oh, look at that. Let's clean it up. I don't know if I can be bothered taking this out. It's too heavy. What year is that? 1992. Wouldn't mind salvaging one. You can see people on Church Street. Shall we have a look? Another collapsed room. I'd better turn my torch off, really. So now we're on Church Street. This is where the fire alarm wires were. It's still there. And that wire's still there as well. Hello. I can see you. This reminds me of the movie Interstellar, where he's on the other side of the wall and he's trying to communicate with everyone. Hello. Don't do it. Don't go. Don't go there. He's screaming. I think it's his daughter who's telling him not to go on the mission. Anyway, we're being distracted. We need to find a way into Evoke. So we can find the spaceship. But I have a feeling when this place was originally burnt down, oh crap, I nearly fell. The whole thing's been destroyed or it's made it, it's rendered it completely inaccessible. So what's in here? Shit. Wait a second. Where are we at? Is this the way into... Oh shit, look at that. There's still no way in. There might be an alternative way. I don't know. Damn. Which is ironic, really, because if the idea was to destroy the spaceship, they've only destroyed the Odeon. And the retaining wall is still intact. But there might be another way. Shall we see? Let's go upstairs. There's an upstairs way. Yeah, this torch is bad. It really isn't lighting things up at all very well. Right, so we'll go upstairs. I'm actually surprised this section of the Odeon is still here, considering how much burnt down. It just shows you how big this place was. So we're going upstairs. This could be dangerous. I really don't think we can get into the ship now. It's probably been crushed by all the rubble. So that's a non-starter. But it's good to get back in here again. Good God, it goes on forever still. We went in this bit last time. Hang on, look at all this been wrecked. Very hazardous now. I better watch everywhere where I step. Whoa. This is it. This is the spaceship. Oh my God. It's still here. This is the dome of the ship. It isn't safe, that's the problem. If I go in there, I'm gonna go through the floor. Do you recognize the kind of UFO dome structure? I don't know if the torch can see. I might go in, I might chance this. Right. I've brought my energy weapon in case we disturb some kind of cryopod. You never know, there might be an alien in stasis. There might be a predator in here. Oh shit, I've accidentally fired off my uh, energy weapon and I'm having trouble getting in here. I hope I don't die through collapsing floors, but it's a chance we're gonna take. 
And now look, I'm kind of on a beam and I can't get back in. I'm trapped inside the Odeon next to a thousand year old spaceship. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get back through this hole. And I'm disappointed that I didn't actually get inside the UFO. But at the same time, I'm appointed that I got back in the Odeon and managed to have a better look. Right, I'm going to put my U-Clan weapon away. Look at that. That could have been how the Predators stored the weapons. Oh Christ, I'm tripping all over stuff now. Because I've been here quite some time. It's going to take me ages to edit this, as it always does. That was another reason why I might be giving up urbexes. It's taking so much time to edit then. There's a button here. What does this do? Nothing, it won't move. In conclusion, the entire spaceship has been gutted. So there's not really any evidence. But I do suspect now that it's something based on predators. Like in the Predator movie. Not them particularly, but something that has inspired those creatures. Do you see? There's a hole in the floor there. Some more stairs here, but they're dangerous as hell. But this is that other room. We looked in there last time. Oh crap, now I can't see in reverse. Where should I stand? That's got a hole. I'm gone. Oh shit, I've dropped my windshield. I don't know where it'll be. It'll be forever in the Odeon. It's only a piece of kitchen sponge. There's more where that came from. There's a lot of Second World War type graffiti knocking about. I won't film it. I think it's very light in here. This is the other bathroom. We went in here, didn't we, last time? I'm wondering what the future of the front of the Odeon will be. I think there's a campaign to attempt to save it. I don't see any harm. If you could save the facade, it is quite Art Deco, kind of 1920s feature. This way out. Look at this mess here. So yes, I say save it, but I'm not really bothered. Can we go through this? We can. That's like a computer game, isn't it? There you go, through different areas. We're back here again. And there is the way we came in. So we're done. Another achievement. Another mystery, kind of solved. Although it leads to more questions. Was the spaceship from a type of predator alien that inspired the movies? Was it the Daleks? The other question is, should we salvage Harrison Ford? Um, not really in the best of shape. Looks young there. Let's see if we can open one of these. There's no way I could get in. I don't have any tools to open that up with. Um, I wasn't filming shit. See, what I've done, I managed to tear the plastic off, these bits, and then I, I ripped this open, but I don't think I filmed it. So I'm going to take a sample of them. Let me put them in my bag, give us a second. I don't know what to do with these ones. If someone sees them, they might have the same idea as me. eBay. But the problem is, if there's loads of them, that will decrease the value. So I'll hide these. There. Not daft, am I? We'll leave them. They might not be in a fit state to put on eBay. Right, anyway, that being said, we're finished here. The only problem is if I do put them on eBay, oh, I could make a different account exclusively for Harrison Ford memorabilia. There's the way in. Should we go up here? Oh, what the hell, let's do it. See, I've got to know navigate all this. This was 
more destructive work by the U clans, like in the car park. I think there might be some kind of security guy on site. We're not going to go out, but check that. Wow. Should I chance it? Oh, what the hell? You only live once, don't you? And we need to see what's through there. So we've got into this bit, and look at this girder. Hey, we can't get in there. And there's a door over here. Check that. Wow. So this is really audacious of me now. Some kind of control panel with a switch. Is that a Moronavirus switch? It's already off. I don't think we can go in here. It's a trick door. It's a paradox. Damn. Right, we're done. I better quit while I'm still ahead. Really. Because I've probably been spotted now. There's some stairs here. The only problem is... No, I don't want to push me luck. It's too dangerous. I'm likely to have been seen. Someone's probably already on the phone to the police. So if I can get out of here before they get here, I think that's a win. Ready? Let's do it. But wow, let's have a look out there again. How cool is that? I'm going to savour this moment. Better go while I still have the opportunity. It's a case of beating the clock now. Whoa. It's a good job I've got good balance. I think it comes with a couple of years of urbex training. I'm glad I went outside. Right, we're going. That's the end. I'm going to be filthy. I don't know if to clean up here or... Well, it doesn't really matter now. I've done it. Yes. What's over there? A stool. Um, I won't upload the video until such a time as this has been secured. And also, um, I don't want other people capitalising on Harrison Ford. And on that note, we'll call it a day. And I will see you all on the next exciting adventure. Should there be any, there will be. It isn't over yet. Bye-bye for now.